Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Suthar and today we will discuss about uh, Huffman coding. So in this today's session, we will discuss uh, how to find an optimal tree okay, or optimal binary tree using very important uh, this method that is Huffman coding. Fine. So first let us discuss what is a prefix code. Now see, a code is uh, a simply an organized way of representing information using a fixed, possibly small set of symbols. Fine. Now, uh, as you know that uh, modern computers rely on a binary code consisting only of the two symbols, that is 0 and 1. Fine. Uh, now, all the information, uh, we know that this all the information uh, in this uh, time is stored in either zeros or 1s. Now, uh, let us consider one example. Now, see, if we use the ASCII codes, we all know what is the ASCII code of, uh, suppose, H, E, L and O. So, then this hello would be stored in a computer in an ASCII code okay and the string as what uh, this uh, this very long string of 1 and 0 and which is what longer than they need to be okay fine so if now let us consider what is a prefix code so if a code has prefix property so it means that no word uh, no word in the code it is a prefix of any other word in the code okay again so what we are doing, uh, this ASCII code, uh, it, is, it is a bit lengthy, fine. So we'll use the prefix code. So if a code has prefix property, so that means no word uh, in the code, it is a prefix of any other word in the code. Let us discuss example. How, uh, consider a five word prefix code containing code words like this. So we have uh, chosen three codes, that is code one, two, three. So uh, what has the prefix uh, property and what does not have so we have total a b c d and e fine so consider this code zero now zero is uh, zero is fixed for uh, the letter a now for b the zero cannot be used okay uh, as a prefix one so as you can see that this one zero the combined code one zero is uh, fixed for b now come to c so one one zero so c zero and one zero are used now for c the zero and combined one zero cannot be used as a prefix of the C. So as you can see that one one zero, they are different. Fine. Now D. Now A, B and C. So zero, one zero and one one zero. They cannot be used as a prefix of the letter, the remaining letters uh, D and D. So as you can see that one one zero, they are different from this one one zero, one zero and zero. Okay. And E, this uh, four times one. So that is also a valid one. Why? Because this all uh, four codes are not prefixed to this E. So code one, so code one is valid. Uh, so valid prefix code. Now consider the code two. Uh, here we are just taking one. Okay. So A one. So for A we have assigned one. Now for letter B we have assigned two zeros. Okay. Now remember for C, uh, this two zeros cannot be used as a prefix and one only one cannot be used as a prefix so as you can see that this zero it is only one zero okay so it is valid so zero one one fine now d zero one double zero so as you can see that the zero one one zero zero and one they are not used in this t they are not used in the prefix of t fine now for e zero one zero one so that is also different so the second code it is also a valid prefix code now consider the third code. Now we have assigned 1 to A. We have assigned uh, code the 0, 0 to B. Now C. Uh, for C we have assigned 0, 1. Now consider D. Okay, this is the case. So you can see that the 0, 0, 1. Okay. But see, uh, we have already assigned a 0, 0 to the code B. Now for prefix code, this 0, 0 cannot be used as a prefix to any another letter. So as you can see that this 001, it is not valid. Why? Because this code 00, it is already used in B. So it is not valid. Now for E, 011. Uh, now 011. So as you can see that this 01, this 01 is already assigned to, uh, in C. So the prefix code of E, so in prefix code of E, this 01 cannot be used. So this code 3, it is not a valid prefix code. Now for code and one, uh, for code one and two, you can verify that each and every code are different, and each and every code are not prefixed to the next uh, word 
fine so let us consider what is an optimal tree okay so a binary tree with t lives of weights uh, that is w1 w2 up to wt such that this w1 is less than equals to w2 less than equals to w3 uh, up to less than equals to wt so weights are in increasing order so then the weight of a binary tree wt it is defined as this that is sigma i running from 1 to t w of i into l of w i now what is l of w i so it is the path length of the leaf to which the weight is assigned okay now what is a optimal tree so a binary tree for the weights w1 w2 up to wt is said to be an optimal binary tree if the weight is minimal fine now uh, let us discuss a very important uh, method so that is a huffman coding okay so the question is build the huffman tree uh, for the following frequencies of six letters so we have this frequencies that is e i o p s t and and the frequency is 29 so that means what this e has frequency 29 i has frequency 5 so that means e is uh, e is repeating 29 times or i is occurring 5 times p is occurring 12 times now so the first step is what to build the huffman tree we sort the frequencies into increasing order so that is 4 5 7 8 12 and 29 fine so this is the the arranged one so s i o t p e and this is the increasing order 4 5 7 8 12 and 29 okay first step is uh, increase uh, arrange it into uh, increasing order now what we'll do uh, we choose the two smallest values the first two smallest values uh, smallest values that is s and i and construct a binary tree with labeled edges so how just consider this uh, figure so like this uh, what we'll do uh, this s having four and i it is having five so after combining we'll add this four plus five so that is nine fine and the label is here s i or four plus nine fine and the left one will uh, assign zero and for the right will assign one okay the first step is what uh, take two minimum entries so four and five and using that we'll construct the binary tree so that is s and i for left we'll uh, use zero and for right we'll use one and this is uh, another node 4 plus 5 so that is si node okay so first step is clear now the second step now we replace the two smallest values so that is 4 and 5 with their sum and getting new frequencies so 4 plus 5 that is 9 so we are getting this frequencies that is 7 8 9 12 and 29 okay and again we are arranging into the increasing order so 7 8 and this 9 comes in the third place so si 9 p 12 e 29 okay so now what we'll do the same procedure again the minimum two are what this o7 and t8 so again we'll construct a binary tree so using this two entries so that is o uh, like this so o is 7 and t having 8 now ot okay the binary tree ot and the weight is what their summation so 7 plus 8 and for left we'll assign 0 and for right we'll assign 1 so I think the step is clear now 7 plus 8 is what uh, 15 so the next step for next step what we'll do we again take two smallest values O and T and construct a label binary tree that we have already done now we now the frequencies uh, we have this 15 okay 15 9 12 29 uh, which must be sorted into like this 9 12 15 and 29 so the two lowest are what uh, this 9 and 12 that is SI and p they are selected ones so we have this uh, four vertices or four nodes okay so si having 9 p having 12 ot having 15 and e 29 now we'll combine this uh, si and p and we draw the binary tree now for si and p okay so here comes what here comes we have si and here comes p okay and the, this is uh, 9 plus 12 so that is sip okay but we've already uh, drawn the uh, binary tree of si so uh, yes the zero and one but we have already uh, drawn uh, the binary tree of si so that is this yes s i zero and one okay so this is the step now what again we have uh, left uh, frequencies are what 21 15 and 29 
and we'll uh, arrange in, in crew, uh, increasing order so that is 15 21 and 29 so we have uh, uh, remaining three entries ot sip and e so the same step we'll uh, use or you combine this and make a binary tree using ot and sip okay fine so this will be binary tree how see ot and sip so that is 15 plus 21 ot and sip that is 9 plus 12 it was there 9 plus 12 so uh, OT's binary tree was O and T, that is 0, 1. And here, uh, for 9 plus 10, so that is SIP. So SIPs were, uh, SIPs binary tree were, uh, we have already done. So S, I, and P, and in same manner S and I. So we have just constructed this, fine. Now the last step. So the two remaining frequencies are what? 36 and 29 are now combined into the final binary tree. So the binary tree will be like this, 29 plus 36. So that is E and OTSIP. And OTSIP's binary tree is drawn same as the above, fine. And in same manner, left one has zero and right one has zero. As you can see that left one has zero, right one has one. So this is the optimal binary tree, okay, fine. And suppose we wanna find the code, the same binary tree. And suppose we wanna find the code so this will be the code how so this uh, this was the question and this was the frequency 4 5 7 8 12 and 29 now suppose we want to uh, find a code for s so where is s this so start from uh, the main uh, vertex okay fine so what will be the code it will be 1 then see to reach uh, s so start with the main vertex so 1 1 and then left one obviously 0 and s is uh, on the left so 0 so 1 1 0 0 so this is the code now for i where is i this so 1 1 0 and 1 so this is the code now for i uh, sorry for o where is o o is this so 1 then 0 then 0 so this is the code then t mm, where is t yeah where is t okay here t so 1 0 and 1 so this is the code for t now p uh, P. Where is P? This. So 1, 1, 1. So it is the code and E. Where is E? So E is 0. So code for E is 0. So as you can see that the word uh, having maximum frequencies, uh, it has the least code. Okay. It has the minimum code. So 29, 0. Then 12, triple 1. And so on. Fine. So this is how you can find optimal binary tree and the codes for the uh, respective letters. Fine. Now try it yourself. I'm giving you one example. The same procedure. For the following set of weights, construct optimal binary prefix code. Okay. For each weight in the set uh, and give the corresponding code words. So this is the question. 8, 9, 12, 14, 16, 19. So here see, uh, we have the frequencies and instead of uh, giving the letters, we don't have here any letters. We have only frequencies. Fine and it is uh, already in the increasing order so i think it will be very easy to do this type of sum fine the same procedure you need to follow thank you